secret to rhythm. And I mean like my secret. And those things is like crazy simple, <laughs> but people refuse to do it. Like crazy simple. This is one of those things that I tell everybody to do. And it's really funny because a lot of people are like, I can't do that. Or I won't do that. Or no, I didn't do that. I really want to fix my rhythm, but I don't want really to do that. <laughs> I get that one a lot. A lot. And so, um, I just wanted to give you the reasons why I do it and talk about why it's such a help. There it is. Y'all ready? It's like super easy. You're going to go, what? Mm -hmm. It's the actual rhythm chart. The actual rhythm chart is my secret. Why is it my secret? It's my secret because without this piece of paper, without the information that you populate this with, you know nothing about your rhythm. Nothing. You think you do, you think you know where you spend your time, you think you know what you're what you're up to, you think you know how much time you're spending on the computer, you think you know how much time you're spending, you know, doing X, Y, Z, but you know nothing without this. This keeps track of everything. This is intended for you to write down everything you do for one week from the time you get up until the time you go to bed. And so what it is, is that you go through for an entire week and you write down, um, you know, the time you got up, got up, um, got dressed, um, you know, sat on the computer for two hours or did school planning. You know, so you're, you're supposed to write down everything. And so what I do, and, and I do this, I, and the reason why I tell you to do it is because I do it. So anytime um, I'm trying to sort something out with my own rhythm, which is often, I, uh, there's, there are often times where I go, you know what, there's something that's not quite right here. So I'm going to keep track for a week. I even have Eric keep track, don't I dear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I even have Eric keep track when, because he and I are a unit, a team when it comes to sort of what we do at home and how we run our business and everything. I keep track of it for business purposes to see where there are holes in um, the work that I'm doing. Um, it's a lot like figuring out time blocking. And so by doing it, you find um, you find these holes that you did you swore you didn't have. <laughs> like I, I have moms go, I swear I don't have any holes. I go, okay, well, it's all right. Then it won't be big deal, right? Just do the, just do the sheet for a week and then let's talk about it. Always, 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 I have moms that say, holy moly, I didn't realize I spent this much time on X, Y, and Z. Or, what? I had no, I had no idea. Um, so when I do it for myself, it is always because I'm looking for a pattern. I'm looking either for a pattern in my own behavior, a pattern in my children's behavior that becomes then something that um, I, you know, that I am con like not controlling, but like sort of running or uh, or falling prey to, um, or a pattern in the overall family behavior with them. So like, especially when we've had, um, and this has happened to us, when when I see bedtime slipping and like slipping to eight thirty or nine o'clock, and I'm like, okay, wait a minute, I need to get these kids in bed because I I do stuff when they go to bed. When I go to bed, I I get myself ready for the next day. I make sure that all my work stuff is in place. All any if it's school night, any of our school stuff is in place, and I am working after they go to bed. So um, if they're not in bed on time, then that backs me up and it gets me in bed too late. And I'm up at five thirty. So and you can see, kids, I got these bags under my eyes today. We partied a little too hard this weekend. Um, so, you know, it, it, without really keeping track and knowing exactly what's going on with my time, then I can't keep all of that running. So if you are having trouble figuring out why you can't accomplish the things that you want to accomplish during the day or that you should be able to accomplish during the day, you need to do this for one week and be faithful to it. You fold it up, you carry it in your purse, you take it everywhere with you. Um, often when I do it, I'll leave it on my kitchen counter with a pen next to it and I will just write things out so that it's easy and I'll just go back to it. I do it for myself probably four times a year about unless there are times that I need more information. So um, I did it recently. We um, we ramped down school. And um, so what that means for us is often in the summer, Eric and I just take turns with kids. Um, 
and we try to have, you know, one, one day a week or one afternoon a week where we're both with the kids and we're just having family fun time. But, but really what it generally men, means is that, um, I'm working or he's working all summer long and that maybe not all summer long, but in, at least through the month of June. And then we do some lessons in July and some lessons in August, but for the most part, we're just sort of taking this break from school and we're really pushing hard on business stuff during that time. So I want to be like super um, aware of how my time is being spent. And so I keep really tight track of what I'm doing. Now, if it's like family rhythm, again, I go back and I'm doing it again. I'm keeping track of like, okay, what time are we really getting home from karate? What time are we really putting dinner on the table? What time are we really getting kids ready for bed? Um, just because I want to know so that I can correct it. So once you know, knowledge is power. Uh, I was trying to remember, what was that from? Was that from the electric company when we were kids? It was definitely not Sesame Street. Knowledge is power. <laughs> trying to think. And rhythm restores your power. So when you have this knowledge, it's, it's, it's very powerful in, in deciding then what to do with it. So once you have this all filled out, I want you to look at it. To look at it, I want you to see where your patterns are. I want you to see where your slip ups are. Um, did, did is it a matter of getting up before your kids? Is it a matter of oh well, on the days that I did get up before my kids, we were able to do all this. But I see on this day we didn't move our bodies until nine in the morning, and so everything went to hell in a handbasket. Um, on this day over here, I see that we're spending a lot of time out, and and this is really good if you're trying to refine that that time out because I have a lot of moms that say to me, oh shoot, that means I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm doing Waldorf, I can't do anything else. And I sort of laugh and go, actually no. What that means is you have to be very deliberate about it. We do this and then when you look at it, and, and, and like I said, you wanna be incredibly detailed. Um, like detailed to when you start making dinner, when you finish making dinner, when you start, you know, when you sit down with your computer or whatever it is that you do <laughs> that distracts you, and when you get up, I want you to be honest because when you're honest about it, that's the only way you can actually make change. And so then you will be able to get through things. Um, so, um, Alina, I hope I'm saying your name right, sweetheart, um, says, I can't force myself to get up early like 6 a.m. I've been waking up at like 9 and my kids are refusing naps during the day. I can't take a nap either. They wake up at 7 or so. What advice would you give me? I need sleep 7 to 10 hours to feel normal and then I can only, and I can only get 6 to 7 hours by the time 6 p.m. hits. I can't even open my eyes. Hey, sweetheart, we just need to change your sleep around. So um, in doing that, uh, it's great that your kids aren't napping, but you're missing their sleep window. So um, if you've got kids that are under seven, then they need to be in bed at seven. That's just when you start. You get them, that means the lights are out by 7.30. Um, and if you have kids that are rubbing their eyes or yawning or ramping up for that second wind at 6, then you need to back that up to 6.30. Um, and I know people go, what? If I do that, my kids are going to get up. They, they will adjust. They will adjust their cycles. And then what you do is once you get those kids in bed, because that is a hot button. Bedtime is a hot, hot, hot button. You need to get your kids in bed so that you can rest. So if you get your kids in bed and they are in bed and you are off duty at eight, which is our family goal, off duty at eight every night, um, that means that not in our case that means they're not only in bed, but the little ones asleep by eight. And so um, when when that happens, then guess what? You can go to bed at nine, and then you can get your you can get all the sleep you need. And you can get up before your kids. That's the goal. So you need to deliberately back up sleep and back up what you're doing. And this will help you. This will help you. Because if your bedtime goal is six is um, 6.30 when you start to get ready or 7 o'clock and you're not putting dinner on the table until 6.20, well, guess what? This will help you. This will help you really see that that's what's going on. And so, um, and, and often that's where, that's where the, the, the holes are. So, you know, we have this, this desire or this goal, but if we're not backing it up with the right actions, then it doesn't do anything. So you need to be able to do this rhythm chart and really keep track of your actuals. So that's going to be my challenge for you, Alina, this week. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not, but if you are really 
paying close attention to this chart this week. It's Monday. I don't know what time it is where you are, but you know, it's um, 6.15 here. <laughs> get started right now. Print it out. Get started right now. And and just keep track all week long. You keep track of what, when the kids are going to bed, what they're when they're eating, all of those things. And then once you once you have um, you've kept track, then I want you to look at it and I want you to go, oh, okay. I see. I need to back this up here and do this different here. That way you have the knowledge about what's actually going on. Because this is kind of like if you had a little movie in your house all day long that somebody was um, taking a picture of everything that was going on. And then you were able to sit and look at the replay of it. This is the replay. This shows you what um, you know what you really are doing. And when you know then what you really are doing, you can make some great decisions. And um, often what happens is people do really well during the week. Moms do really well during the week. And then they, they say they fall apart on the weekend when dad's at home. And so, um, you know, there again, when you're keeping track that week, you need to let dad know that you're keeping track that week. <laughs> and you say, listen... There's stuff that's going crazy, and I'm trying to sort it out. So I'm going to keep track of everything we do today so that I can figure out where it is that the hole is, and then you need to show this to Dad, and you need to work together because once Mom and Dad are both on board, it's magical. It's magical when Mom and Dad are both on board. And guess what? I have moms that say to me all the time, oh, my husband wouldn't do this. But you know what? They're husbands that do because we work with them. <laughs> We work with parent with parents that are ready to be in sync together. How would you advise fitting in work time, working from home, single mom into a daily rhythm? I would advise you to do this form first. I want you to print this out and I want you to keep track of your actual time all week long. And when you have your actual time out, and, and, and actually, that's um, it's a really good question because I have a lot of moms that come to me and say, I want to start my own business. I'm homeschooling. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the time. So this is, is kind of the same. So, um, the, um, the, 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 this, the piece about where you're going to put everything, you can, um, do your actual rhythm, look at where your holes are, look at where you need to tighten things up, look at what you're actually doing for all of those things. What systems can you put in place so you can shorten things up and have blocks of time to work your business? Um, that's one thing that, that um, I'm really conscious of because we like to keep a very good, smooth rhythm. It feels really good for our kids. There's lots of good breathing in and breathing out, which is something that you can actually create after you have, you can see your actual, you can then deliberately create the breathing out and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out moments. Um, but it's really hard to do until you know what you're actually doing, what's actually happening. Um, but I do that for myself because I want to always make sure that I keep work in check with kids. And that we, that Eric and I keep our work time in, in harmony with um, our time as parents and in harmony with, you know, our time as homeschooling parents. And so we're, we're continually sort of working through making sure that our time is in a good place. And so that's what I would suggest you do. Anybody that wants to start a business or anything like that, you got to look at what your actual is first. And once it's out on paper, then you can see where you can tighten things up. Um, for those that are, um, you know, just really working on it to really get a good sense of their own rhythm, their own family rhythm, it's a perfect way to get started with that. It's actually, I really believe the only way, you know, I, I see, I see a lot of our, um, our competitors out there going, Oh, we have your secrets to rhythm. Nobody else is doing this. I'm guaranteeing you nobody else is doing this. And if they did, they stole it from us. <laughs> this is the key to finding out actual rhythm. Uh, you have to know what you're doing first, and then you can make your beautiful rhythm chart. Then you can um, put your beautiful intention in there. But until you know where you're actually spending your time and what spaces you actually need to work on your own will, then you, you don't really know anything about rhythm, honestly. And so um, that's my challenge for all of you this week. I would love to hear how it goes for you. So come back and leave us comments. Drop us a PM. Um, leave us a message some way. You know, send, it, send us an email, melissa at waldorfessentials.com.